Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Candace here and I'm back with another video. Today I have a plant haul part two. Yes, I bought more plants. I don't care what you say. I don't have any space and I don't care. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys what I have gotten. I've had some more kind of swap outs, if you will. So it's not like giving super crowded like I legit have no space but after um this last little haul that i did i don't have any space so i'm excited to show you guys what i got so let's jump into it okay so first up i have this beautiful burgundy rubber tree isn't she stunning this plant was second on my wish list um i think i was talking about how in my last plant haul video, I was talking about how Monstera was the first on my wish list. This was the second right under it. And I have wanted one of these for so long. Um, oh, I need to clean her leaves. I wanted one of these for so long. Um, but I wanted to wait and just kind of see how I did for a few months with my fiddle leaf figs. Since they both, they're kind of like cousins. They're of the thickest um, family. Um, and so... I just wanted to kind of wait and see and I wanted to just do enough research to ensure that I had, um, you know, the environment to bring her into so that she could thrive. Um, and so I finally got this about two weeks ago. Um, one of my friends was in town um, and she's really into plants and um, one of our mutual friend, like we became friends through one of my best friends. Um, her and I went to meet her at this nursery. Um, it was the day after Chadwick Bozeman died and I was feeling sad. and. Um, the past few times I've been to that nursery, I haven't seen, um, like any super good ones, but I got like the last good one that they had that day. Um, and it's been doing well. This leaf was actually completely closed when I bought it. It looked like this right here. It was completely closed and it opened up within the first week of me having her. And now it's like fully, I think mature and it has darkened up a bit. And so I'm really excited. Um, so far, I have watered her one time when I repotted her. Um, it's one of those that you let the soil dry out um, completely before watering again. Um, and because I have it in this ceramic pot, so that also kind of decreases the watering need just a little bit too. Um, I keep her in, she gets a lot of sunlight. She's right in front of the window and she's on a stand that elevates her. Um, but I know that it can... It probably does best in like medium, you know, like bright and direct light. So, um, so far, so good. Two weeks in, but I am so thrilled about her because she's beautiful. Like, I wanted this plant for so long. And so I'm so happy that I got my hands on like a really, really good one. And I'm just excited. Isn't this friend super cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, so to be completely honest, I'm not sure if I have identified her correctly just yet. Um, I have seen two things. I've used two different apps to identify her. And from what I'm gathering, it's called a baby rubber plant or an American rubber plant. Um, it's of the Peperomia um, species, which makes sense because the leaves really look like, um, um, like a Peperomia. But I love her. She was too cute to leave in the store. Um, she came like on a little hanger, but I actually removed that. I got her the same day that I got the rubber tree. And she's so cute. I tried to hang her next to my big golden um, pothos that's hanging from the window, but it just was like too small, really. It didn't look cute. Um, so I have her sitting on my TV stand on the edge of it, about six feet away from the window. I've read that this um, plant does well with low to bright indirect light and likes her soil to be completely dried out before watering again. So, so far so good. Um, I've had her two weeks and I've had no issues with any leaves or anything like that, but I really love her. I just think she's super, super cute. So this is one that wasn't planned, but I saw her and was just like, I can't leave this here. It's too cute. Okay, y'all, this is my city girl. This is Carisha. My best friend has um, Jatavia. Shout out Young Miami and JT from City Girls. <laughs> we got them on the same day, one day after our workout. Um, last week? No, maybe close to two weeks ago now. 
This plant was only $25 at Home Depot. And this is one that I have been looking for for a really, really long time. The nursery that I go to, this plant starts at like 60. It might even start at 70 for real. It is a Chinese evergreen. It's another variation. And you guys know that I love Chinese evergreens. And plus that other one, that sad looking one that was in my last plant haul video. Yes, this ain't make it. So <laughs> I figured I would replace her. Um, and this is the variation that I like really wanted. I believe it's called like the spring snow variation or something like that. I've seen it called like a diamond something, but it's definitely spotted. Um, like the leaves are freaking like they're striking. Um, this plant does well in any lighting conditions, just no direct sun because um, that'll scorch the leaves. But you can put this in a room with very little light and it will be just fine um, which is kind of what I've done I have her in my dining room my dining room has a southeast facing window so it does get good light in the morning but throughout the day it's a little bit darker because we have a big tree in our backyard and then there are other trees back there so it's not super bright and it's a smaller window and we have blinds so it doesn't get like super high light but in the morning it definitely gets good light in there but I love her definitely um, only water her when her soil is completely dried out very very um, great plant if you um, if you are a new plant parent um, Chinese evergreens are great for new plant parents definitely an air purifier but I love this plant right now I actually have her in my bedroom and it's a little tight but I have her in my bedroom right now because I repotted her yesterday um, and I noticed that the soil was still damp and at this point I've had her almost two weeks and so that's not good um, I think like she definitely needed to be repotted because clearly um, that water was not moving through that nursery pot that she came in so I'm super excited about her she's stunning um, and the fact that it was only $25 I couldn't leave it in the store and that was the day that i really went <laughs> to home depot with zero intention of buying a plant and i came out with this huge plant but i'm so glad my best friend talked to me and she was like you've been wanting it you can't leave it which is true um and so i'm just so excited like i love this plant she's beautiful guys look at her yeah this carisha aka young miami shout out to city girls this is her okay so how cute is this marble pothos i am obsessed with this plant so quick backstory because um i have a shelf over my tv where before i had a really little golden pothos i had a hartley philodendron and i had a satin pothos so the satin pothos was probably doing the best out of all three of those um and so i gave the satin pothos to my mom she took it to her job the hartley philodendron I just kind of, I just kind of nixed the sis. Sorry. She wasn't like, she wasn't big in it. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like for that shelf, I want a plant. I want plants to have just a little bit more. And also I got that during a time where I was just buying plants kind of just to buy them. Like when I went somewhere and just bought some, now I'm really getting plants that I really want. Um, and that I really feel will kind of for real like add to like the decor of my space and so I kind of cleared out that shelf that little golden pothos I had um she wasn't really she wasn't big I bought it when it literally had five leaves on it and I wanted like a more mature one so what I did was I got a little golden pothos and kind of put it together and I sat that in the dining room um right in front of that southeast facing window. So it's doing, she seems to be happy there. So I wanted to kind of make room, especially because I already have a golden pothos in here that's hanging. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make room. So I got this marble pothos and I adore her. It's like such a cute size, it trail, you know, it's, it's gonna trail, so I'm excited about that. And you know, pothos are super easy plants for the newer plant parent. I got this from the nursery and I have her in this adorable little pot, which I think is super cute. Um, and so I'm really, um, happy um that i found a marble pothos because also i wanted something with i wanted some variated leaves up there too and so i love how these leaves they're not um they're not variated with yellow like the golden pothos is but with white um and they're gorgeous and so i'm really really happy about this 
Okay, so next I have a neon pothos and I got it the same day that I got that marble pothos and I have been really wanting a neon pothos. I wanted it kind of bushy like this because I know, um, you know, it's going to trail. It's getting ready to begin trailing, but I wanted it kind of bushy like this and I just love the like lemon lime of the leaves, how the leaves are like kind of like neon. I think that this is just such a unique looking plant and it's also such an easy plant to care for like all pothos you definitely wait until the water has dried um you know so the soil has dried out you definitely don't want it sitting in water and this can tolerate um pretty much any lighting condition low to bright indirect light but you know for the best at least for these you definitely want kind of like some moderate light um and my shelf gets pretty good light especially in the afternoon so I think she will do fine um and she's more mature which is like what I wanted so I'm really excited about this plant because it's so beautiful and it's just unique looking and I adore her okay so I got the same day I got the marble pothos and the neon pothos I got this jade pothos which I really like because the leaves are there are a few variated leaves in here which is cool but the leaves are solid green for the most part um they're like a jade green but um I love it number one look at how long it's trailing so I love it on my shelf because I have the marble queen um that's the smallest and then like the medium sized neon pothos and then I have this jade pothos that's trailing down so I love how it looks above my tv um and I put it in the back because this can definitely tolerate lower light because it's already a mature size plant so I'm not too stressed about it growing more I do want it to continue to trail down um, and it is about to also trail over here so I definitely want it to still trail down but I'm not as concerned about it getting as much light as the other two because um, you know the leaves don't vary um, leaves don't variegate I think a few marble queen pothos kind of got stuck in here because the jade is just um, a solid green the jade pothos is just solid green um, and you just care for it like the other pothos let the soil dry out and load to bright indirect light but I don't mind that this one is on the farther side of the shelf because it's already mature so like I said I'm not too pressed about it growing of course you know I want it to grow but I don't really need it to grow super fast which is why I thought this would be a really good choice for the shelf and um she's beautiful like I love 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 trailing pothos and I just love pothos like they are just such a freaking easy plant and they're so beautiful when they start to trail and vine um if you don't want it to trail or vine you can stick a moss pole in there and it'll climb up that's what I'm um that's what I did with my monstera if you remember my last plant haul video I had two little moss poles those things were so little and tiny and I was mad that the inches were off in the description on Amazon but I got a taller one it sits in the middle now so it's climbing that's why you don't see her happy leaves next to me this video but yeah if you want um but you can use a moss pole to um train this plant to climb up also which is um you know an option but I preferably love pothos um either hanging or like on shelves where they can trail down because it's beautiful and it just adds to your space so yes okay so I have this little super cute friend this is a parlor palm um a parlor palm was actually really high on my wish list as well because I saw that they could tolerate um lower light um situations and so oh my gosh there's a new stock coming up I didn't even notice this. She has a new stalk over here. You probably can't see. But I really wanted a parlor palm. Um, I've been doing a lot of like reading on palms. And they're a lot easier to care for than one would think. Um, I would love. I can't wait till I buy my own home. And I can um, put. And I have like the lighting for like a really large beautiful palm. But um, I love this parlor palm because it is a lower light plant um she's so cute and I love how bushy she is but I actually have her on a stand right in front of the window um I've only had her a few days I was at Home Depot again with my best friend after our workouts because that's what we be doing um and I had no intention of getting anything and for the longest time I didn't and then I stumbled across the last parlor palm that they had and I was like oh my gosh like this is so cute and it was only ten dollars um and so I was like I definitely want her it was funny because at first I didn't have space for her but then after I kind of rearranged some things um I got her a little spot on the accent table right in front of the window and so far she seems to be doing okay um and so I'm really really excited about her because like look at how cute she is I can't wait till she gets bigger I don't want her to get too big right now because I just don't have the space for that but um 
I definitely want her to get a little bit bigger and I'm excited to watch her grow. This is, I'm really excited because I really, really have been wanting a parlor palm. So I'm glad I finally found a really pretty one um, for a good price too. So before y'all go on me, I know y'all are probably like, girl, in your last plant haul video, you just showed a snake plant you just got. Okay, so if you recall one of my earlier videos, two plants everyone should have, that snake plant I had in there is the same variation of snake plant. It's the black coral. But I gave that one, I told y'all I gave that one away today. And um, then I got that, um, the one with the yellow stripes from Home Depot. And so when I got it, I noticed that there were little brown spots on it. But overall, it looks pretty healthy. So I didn't think anything of it until last week. I was like, wait, there are like really big brown spots on this plant and they were spreading and I was like ew like what is it so it looked like it was some sort of fungus it couldn't have been from over watering it um I have no idea what that was I know it wasn't a lighting issue so I don't know sometimes that just happens you get plants it just doesn't work or you get plants that aren't the healthiest and you think you can kind of fix it and then it's just whatever so I went back to my OG my black coral snake plant because I love this snake plant so much it's hands down the easiest plant I don't need to talk about it you already know literally water it bi-weekly at you know the most and you can go longer especially in winter months cleans the air put it anywhere literally in the darkest corner or the brightest corner and it will be absolutely fine but I'm excited because this is um, probably the best quality black coral snake plant that I've got and she even has some stuff happening right here so um, I'm excited to watch that grow and hands down easiest plant so I'm super excited about my friend here so I hope you all enjoyed um, my second plant haul video I am so out of control with the plants but honestly I don't care I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm not buying anymore because that would be a lie um, but I just love what they do to my space and they're just so fun to care for it's such a great hobby and it's so funny like how many of my friends that I've put on to plants and now like going plant shopping together is such a thing um, and it's like half of what we be talking about and so I love it um, and I can't wait to just um, you know, create more space for more plants. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. If you have any of these plants um, in your collection, please let me know. Let me know any tips or tricks or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.